what's up team and seem the sense are young here now i know that the title of the video may be a little bit triggering potentially and you may not know what i'm getting at here but trust me i'm going to get somewhere good i think uh there's a good lesson at the end of this but like the video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel helps the channel grow and i wish i had this quote memorized but i'm not that cool but i want to start this video off with this message and Trust me again, it's gonna get somewhere. But I'm gonna read it. Keep this thought handy when you feel a fit of rage coming on. It isn't manly to be enraged. Rather, gentleness and civility are more human and therefore manlier. A real man doesn't give way to anger and discontent. And such a person has strength, courage, and endurance, unlike the angry and complaining. The nearer a man comes to a calm mind, the closer he is to strength. Forgot to mention, that quote comes from Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. All men should do jujitsu. I know I have a bias, okay? I've been doing the martial art for five years now. I know I have a massive bias but all men should do jujitsu. You see, uh, I know that I mentioned that the title of this video is triggering. <laughs> Emotions make you weak. Emotions are useless. Jiu-Jitsu is a martial art that really allows an individual to come face to face with their emotions and learn, really, really learn about the negative effect that relying upon them can have. You see, I think the Gym culture, you always see these memes or these images on Instagram. It's you versus you. You versus who you were yesterday. It's, you know, it's, it's you versus your past self, right? And that's great. You know, a lot of life, you're gonna be fighting and you're going to be trying to beat who you were before. But with jujitsu, it's you versus another person. It's you versus an actual opponent who's trying to hurt you, who's trying to make you say the words, I submit, or tap. It's a martial art that you don't come into with the knowledge of. It's not intuitive. You have to learn a lot. It's not a joke when people call it human chess. Now, I made a video in the past on this channel talking about relaxing your face, which will allow you to lift more weight, right? If you relax your face and you're calm, you'll be able to hone in on your technique. You'll be able to hone in on the cues. Less thinking leads to better, stronger lifting. But being calm also allows you to not be dictated by your emotions. Let me give you a few examples of what I'm talking about here, as far as real life is concerned. This has happened to me. There's a coworker, you guys get into a disagreement, it gets heated, and you, you get so mad that you wanna pop this person in the face. You wanna punch him in the face. Straight up, you want to hit them. But you can't act upon that anger and frustration, right? You can't hit them because no one wants to get sued. So what you have to do is you have to feel that emotion, put it to the side, take your logical brain, and figure out the best way to deal with this situation to quell it down. If you're able to do that, probably it's resolved. But if you act upon your emotion, 
you're most likely going to get into trouble and you won't have your solution. Another good example, you have a significant other. And since most of this channel is men, I'm gonna be talking from the male's point of view. You and your lady get into an argument. It gets heated. You guys start yelling at each other. You're angry, frustrated, annoyed. So things are said in those moments to hurt the other individual. When you come back to it, you realize, God dang, I can't believe all those things that I said. I didn't mean that. I was just mad. You acted upon that anger. Instead, if you thought logically, right? If you were in that moment, felt that emotion well up, and then you turned and instead logically thought, hey, let's try and deal with this situation logically. Let's try to, re let's try to resolve this when we're both calm and we can think clearly. You would have come to the right answer. This is a bicep board. This is the cable attachment. Well, jujitsu, I would say, is the a way that you're going to be able to battle with your emotions on a daily basis while you're training. Because like I mentioned earlier, you're going to get beat so many times. And every time you get beat, there is something that's going to well up inside of you. It could be annoyance, it could be anger, it could be disappointment, it could be sadness, it could be frustration. This is gonna well up, and let me tell you, that's okay. I know the title of this video was somewhat triggering, but it's not what I mean. Feel your emotion, come to terms with it, but jujitsu is the art that forces you to learn how to act with logic and strategy because you're going to feel this anger and if you do jujitsu or if you do any type of sport you know that typically when you're angry and frustrated and annoyed and you end up actually acting using that anger frustration annoyance sadness well your actions are usually not as crisp as sharp as honed in as they can be I love this thing so much. The brute belt. Best pull-up belt ever. And initially, you might answer these emotions with action. So you get angry that you just got tapped, so now you go at your opponent with that anger. But what do you typically notice? If you do jujitsu, you know that when you roll angry or frustrated, you're more likely to get tapped even faster, even quicker, because your calm opponent is using that anger and frustration against you. You're not calm, you're not controlled, you're not acting rationally, you're not thinking logically. So you get beat. But over and over, you get better at getting beat and then thinking instead, what can I now do to either tap my opponent or if I don't have the tools to tap them, how can I now survive this onslaught? You see, me having to go through that over and over and over and over again in the beginning has brought that type of solution-oriented mindset rather than relying on annoyance, anger, sadness, frustration to take my action. I feel those emotions and then switch to my logic. What can I do? What tools do I have to survive or to win. No other art puts you in that situation so many times over and over and over and over again against a physical human being than jujitsu. You learn quickly that acting on your emotions doesn't lead to the answer. It typically leads to your downfall. But if you can switch to being calm, 
being collected. Relying on your logic. Feeling that emotion and that's okay to feel it, but not acting on it. You learn that you can get better that much quicker. Now, when I was in situations where I was frustrated, mad, angry, sad, I would allow myself to feel that emotion. There is nothing wrong with emotion. Emotion is not weakness. Acting, using that emotion can be weakness. I've become much better at approaching stressful situations with logic, with reason, in a calm fashion. I'm not saying I'm perfect, by no means am I perfect at this. But why should all men do jujitsu? It's that reason. It's the rawest form of learning how to deal with frustrating emotions. And if you're going to get good and you're going to advance, you have to learn how to deal with it. You have to get better at that or you're just gonna be like a bull continuing to hit a wall. Or I think a better, I think a better comparison is you're like a bull and your opponent is like a matador waving a red flag. And if you continue to focus on that red, that emotion, they're gonna keep waving that red flag side to side, making you ram into walls right and left. But if you're able to look at that Shift your focus away from that red emotion onto your opponent. See what they're doing and focus in on that. You'll continuously win the battle. So let's go back to that quote that I talked about in the beginning of this video. Keep this thought handy when you feel a fit of rage coming on. It isn't manly to be enraged. Rather, Gentleness and civility are more human, and therefore manlier. A real man doesn't give way to anger and discontent, and such a person has strength, courage, and endurance, unlike the angry and complaining. The nearer a man comes to a calm mind, the closer he is to strength. Marcus Aurelius.